I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. Maria Menounos earned a perfect score on Monday's episode of Dancing with the Stars, but on Tuesday she was ousted from the show. The 33-year-old TV personality was eliminated from the ABC dance-off one week shy of the finals. Judges' scores are combined with viewer votes to determine who is dismissed each week. Actor William Levy, football star Donald Driver, and singer Catherine Jenkins will compete Monday for the Miraball Trophy. Now, Catherine Jenkins tweets that it was a back spasm that caused her to fall at the end of her second dance on Monday. By the way, ABC is putting together an all-star version of Dancing with the Stars. Favorites from the 14 previous editions of the show would take part, and it will air this fall. That will probably be a hit. The procedure that John Mayer had done on his throat didn't work the first time, and he has to have it done again. Mayer tells Ellen DeGeneres on her talk show that he still can't sing. He says what they did was cut this thing out of his throat and then had his vocal cords injected with Botox. That freezes them up so they don't go smacking up against the other side. He says he needs more Botox the next time, so he'll have the procedure done again. In the meantime, he's enjoying just writing. President Barack Obama did pretty well in a pop culture quiz given to him on The View. He knew that it was Kim Kardashian who'd been married just 72 days. He's seen the Avengers and identified the Hulk, Captain America, and Iron Man. But he didn't know that Jessica Simpson had her baby and couldn't name the erotic fiction book that a lot of women are reading. He said he'd ask Michelle about it when he got home. <laughs> Obama also revealed that he watches shows like Mad Men and Homeland during long flights on Air Force One. <laughs> Kind of glad he didn't know about Jessica Simpson and a little disappointed that he did know about Kim Kardashian. Well, Brett Michaels and organizers of the Tony Awards have settled a lawsuit filed by the rocker after a 2009 incident in which he was hit in the head with a set piece and suffered injuries that he claimed contributed to a brain hemorrhage that nearly killed him. The confidential settlement also covers Michaels' claims against CBS Broadcasting, which aired the show, and the mishap. In local entertainment news, it's TMI at the Woodstock Playhouse presenting true stories crafted into monologues from the TMI page to stage workshop at the Woodstock Playhouse. It's Friday, May 18th at 8 p.m. and Saturday, May 19th at 8 p.m. and two different casts both nights. Uh, you can log on to brownpapertickets.com for more information. That's your latest entertainment report for a new update daily. Log on to midhudsonnews.com. I'm Kimberly Gay.